Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel. Today we are going to read a story named The Fox and the Stork, retold by Suzanne Davidson and illustrated by John Joanne. So let's begin. Fox loved to play tricks on friends. Fox played tricks on Badger. Fox played tricks on Owl. Fox played tricks on Bat. Tickle, tickle, who's that? Today, Fox decided to, to, decided to play a trick on Stork. What trick should I play? I know what to do. First, I need to write Stork a letter, said Fox. Stork was very excited to get Fox's letter. An invitation to supper! How lovely! Dear Stark, please come to my house for supper at 6 o'clock. No need to bring anything from Fox. I've been invited out for supper. Stark spent all day getting ready. This hat or this hat? I know, this hat and this scarf. Perfect. At half past five, it started to rain. The wind howled. But Stark didn't want to let Fox down. Stark arrived looking very soggy. Come in, come in, said Fox. I've made spicy stew. Please sit down. You must be so hungry, said Fox. Oh, I am, I am, said Stark. Fox put the stew into wide, shallow bowls. This looks delicious. It's my best stew yet, said Fox. Stork tried to eat the stew, but it was impossible. Stork looked up to see Fox laughing. That was so funny. You tricked me, said Stork. You're supposed to be my friend. Stork strutted home through the rain. I'm going to get that I'm going to get that fox. Stork spent all night thinking of a cunning plan. I know just what I'm going to do. The next morning, Stork stood down to write a letter. Fox grinned when the letter, when the invitation arrived. Stork must have forgiven me. Dear Fox, please come to my house for lunch at one o'clock. No need to bring anything from Stark. Stark is such a good cook. I can't wait. Fox didn't eat anything all morning. I want to have room for my lunch. At last, it was lunch time. Fox hurried to Stark's house. Hello, Stark, said Fox. Thank you for inviting me. Please sit down, said Stark. I've made you a fish soup. Oh, I love fish soup. Stark poured the soup into tall jars. It's delicious, said Stark. My best yet. Mmm. Fox tried everything to drink the soup. But it was impossible. You tricked me, said Fox. I did trick you, said Stark with a smile. And now you know what it feels like, said Stark. It's horrible when someone plays a trick on you, said Stark. It is. The next day, Fox said sorry to Badger, Owl and Bat. Last of all, Fox said thank you to Stark. I'll never play tricks on my friends again. About this story, Aesop's fables are from ancient Greece. They always have a moral or a lesson at the end. The moral of this story is treat yourselves, treat others as you'd like to be treated yourself. The end. That's it for this fable. If you liked it, then don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel if you haven't already. Bye.